y'all let me tell y'all this episode was 10 seconds away from getting canceled because of it listen i was about to upload right i had just filmed i was about to upload and then i don't know where my computer shuts down and i delete everything well not i don't delete it but it deletes literally everything so here i am again remaking this video just for you guys and you know what i'm stressed but i'm not that stressed because it must have been a sign i could do better so we're gonna take that as that is okay all right so anyway hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel um so today we're gonna be playing with our three lovely ladies we haven't been back with them for about two weeks now i think that was the last time i updated um that playlist so this is called differences um it's just about three lovely ladies living in one house in Oasis Springs, and they're exploring their freelance career. Um, so all of them, they just literally woke up, and um, now I have to go over their their skills really quickly because that's what I did in my other video. But whatever. Okay, so um, just really quickly, everything will be really quick because I'm rit I'm literally I'm literally repeating myself. So. Riley reached level six in a programming skill and level three in mischief. I don't know why she's out here trolling these forums, but with the programming skill, being that she is at level six now, she can get higher paying gigs. And we snagged her a gig, and her gig payout is twenty eight hundred. Right. Um. She also has her license, so now she could explore and do whatever the heart pleases right next to her we have marianne marianne's like she hasn't been doing what she had to do you know she her performance dropped she she'll basically um get a gig but she won't complete any of the work um the last work that she did complete was only one of the assignments so that happened and she has baby fever still from the last three episodes that we had she's been having baby fever and she's been getting a little close to one of my other sim household that i use in the let's play santiago so they met up one day and they clicked clicked it off right away and it's really weird and she knows lara which is santiago's wife and lara does not like marianne so i kind of want to entertain this friendship but i don't at the same time because i don't know <laughs> Next, we have um, Kira. Let me go to Kira. So, I actually, being that she um, does yoga, she has been able to, you know, be become more self-centered. And what is it? Like, she's able to control her emotions. So, I was thinking about changing her one of her traits from hot-headed to either overachiever or... Um, uh, perfectionist and the reason i say perfectionist is because every writing that she has done so far with these gigs has been excellent quality there has not been a time where she had to um go back and like edit the skill well not the skill edit the um the work so she's really really into writing and the only thing is so she hasn't been able to get any high paying gigs which is really weird because she's at level uh she's at level six with her writing so i don't know what's going on there i thought maybe it was a glitch but who knows oh i forgot to go over the skills for marianne marianne her art skill has not floored she's still at level two yeah she's still at she's yeah she's still at level two but her cooking and her her guitar skills has flourished as well as has as well as her gardening so marianne's really just focused on other things besides work and i kind of feel as though being that she's living in a household where the other two ladies are flourishing and they're making money um within their career she's not upset like she's doing what she she's doing what she wants to do she's gonna do it when she gets ready like if she wants to work she'll work you know she's on that type of time like she's more of a i'm gonna play now and then i'm gonna just figure out later and like i did say like in the last couple of episodes, I kind of feel like Marianne's the type to, like, if she found a man and she found, like, you know, that perfect man, she would just stay at home and take care of the kid. Why is this like this? Wait, what? Why is this bush smelling like this? Or why is it? 
Okay. Okay. Whatever. But um, I kind of feel like when she finds that perfect one, she'll just stay home and um take care of the kids. This bush has been used before, but someone didn't flush. Okay, can we get rid of this? Or no? Because that's really funny. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, guys. This is it. Um, Marion's garden is not flourishing. And sis has allergies. So yeah. <laughs> that is my quick, 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 quick um, little summary. So we'll just get into this gameplay. Right now it is Monday 2.30ish. And it's really, it's not that hot, but it's hot outside. It's nice out. And I kind of want, I got to see what they have, uh, what else they have to accomplish. So Riley has to talk with her client. I was going to say his, with her client. So after she showers, we could just go ahead and do that. We'll just have her talk with her client. And Kira, I want to get Kira together she's a little she's not smelly yet but she she would like to take a shower she's a little what is that called musty she's a bit musty i'm gonna turn these lights on um my game is a little laggy and this is why i'm most upset because my video before was a bit laggy too but being that i have to redo this whole thing over it's really irritating <laughs> But whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these lights on. Cause it is getting dark out. Um, turn lights on, and we have to do a big cleaning. So we'll just empty up, empty up, empty out that tea brewer, and then clean these plates up. I really want to get rid of that bush because I didn't. First of all, I didn't even know that was there. Okay, I did not know it was there. Um, clean these plates as well, and then. I kind of want to get the girls out. They went out last weekend to um, San Myshuno and <sighs> they met a couple of people. Um, Marianne is not really, she's, she talks, but she only really talks to like the people at her house. And then Kira has like these other mutual friends and she knows, you know, somebody named Alex and this is a female. Um, Aron, everyone knows who Aron is, being that he's a base game player. Riley doesn't really, her neighbors doesn't really like her, but you know, whatever. I kind of want to um, get these girls out so they can meet more Sims and possibly like start forming relationships with people outside of their home. And, you know, that's, yeah, basically. I was going to say something else, but I have nothing else to say. But, um, yeah, I want to get them out so they could start building relationships outside of their home. And I'm just really annoyed about this plant. I want to know. I think if it rains, to like it washes out technically. <sighs> That's annoying. Um, I don't know, guys. Yeah. Um, let's see. Honestly, I wasn't really planning on my video to get deleted. But here I am. So Kira's just cleaning up really quickly and then we'll just go ahead and start off not start off, we'll just go ahead and finish um these gigs and pick up some new ones. We gotta keep this money coming in. Um let me see. I know Riley Oh, you know what? Riley wanted a makeover. She wanted to try on new outfits. So maybe that's something that we could do. Um I kinda like the way they look, but you know, change is always great. So what we'll do is we'll have these two ladies finish up their um their gigs and then we could get them up give Riley a makeover. I don't know if I want to give all girls a makeover. I want to give Riley a makeover. And Riley has been thinking about moving out, which is really weird because she just moved in. I just kind of think she might not be used to like her being in the house with two other women because I kind of feel like Riley would just like <sighs> Riley's shy. And she doesn't mind being by herself. She could spend all day by herself. You know, she just enjoys her own solitude. But I kind of also feel like she enjoys that company, but she doesn't say she enjoys the company. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, oh, okay, I could live by myself, but you being here makes me, you know, comfortable. So I just kind of feel like th those type of thoughts passes through her mind. It's more like, do I really want to move? 
Like, do I do I really want to move or do I just really want to be home by myself? Like, you know, you know how like you're home by yourself, you start to hear everything. Like you start to hear the floors creak. You hear pins dropping on the floor. Like it's just it's just so weird when you're home by yourself. Hi, Jinx. And someone just texted us saying that they knew we were friends with Marianne. Like, hello, we live with her. Um, no, I think Victor Fang, I think he's a vampire. I think we'll be okay with that. Um, Marianne just woke up. She's feeling playful. And she's on her way to play with her guitar. She reminds me of like... Honestly, she doesn't remind me of anything. I was going to say she reminds me of um, Taylor Swift. But then it's kind of like, why? Because she has blonde hair and she plays the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> so no, she does not remind me of Taylor Swift. I really do like these girls though. Um, I just need Riley to hurry up so I can take her into create a sim and we could like update i'm only gonna update this outfit here actually we could just go plan an outfit and then we'll just see this is hurry up and then you hear kira on in the bathroom <laughs> splashing making loud noise <laughs> all right let's see Riley, are you almost done yet jeez she should be almost done in a couple of minutes. Um, and then we'll just... No. We'll just come here and then we'll plan um, these outfits. <laughs> she could relax inside the closet. That's so funny. I've never really thought of that before. We're going to plan these outfits really quickly. Alright guys, so as you, I only made one outfit, so I kind of feel like this is Riley's, let me just change her really quickly. I feel like if Riley could, she would go out every day in sweatpants and sandals and a sweater, <laughs> and a crop top sweater. I feel like that is a mood, she's always like willing to be in sweatpants, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. But I also kind of feel like Riley wears like baggy clothes, because I kind of feel like, like... I kind of feel like she doesn't believe that she's pretty, but everyone else around her thinks she's pretty. You know what I mean? So it's just like she wears or, you know, she wears these baggy clothes and these real comfy clothes so that she so that she think. OK, she wears these comfy clothes because she feels as though she's not as pretty. Not saying that obviously wearing comfy clothes makes, you know, but I kind of feel like she doesn't see that on herself. But people around her, she's like girl you are so pretty and i kind of also feel like she wants to dress like in skirts and 
crop tops but she you know insecurity that she's very hairy like she has hair as you've seen in the um in the cast portion that she has hair on her belly button her arms her legs behind her legs so she's like really hairy so it's something that she's always struggled with and she's always like i don't know why i'm always so hairy you know what did i do to become so hairy (laughs) so it's just like something that she's been battling with to you know try to make herself feel comfortable so she wears these comfy clothes because she's so uncomfortable you know i don't know why oh i'm so stupid all right we'll just go ahead and act like we did that that's okay because we gave her a new outfit a new comfy outfit and she wants to win a game of darts so we could just have her do that later um where did we get ten dollars from kira i don't know what Kira, kira's still in the ba- oh no i thought kira was still in the bath i was like girl girl how long are you about to be in there um i want to have kira start um her things so we could try to get more money like a different gig and actually earn more money um let me see oh my gosh (laughs) freelancer and then we're gonna chat with the client i also want to start completing their aspirations um kira has the fabulously wealthy um aspiration and is we completed the ten thousand in reserves and that only came about because her parents bought her this expensive ass house and also her parents don't understand why she's living with two other females when they have all this money where kira could live possibly anywhere in the world by herself so like they don't understand why she's even like surrounding herself with people that have like less money than her (laughs) those are yeah those are those her parents is those type um she they don't understand why she's hanging out with people with with less money and why she's deciding to struggle well in their tents anything that's above below them is struggling um as of now she has earned sixteen hundred dollars out of the five thousand so we don't have that much left (laughs) but as long as we well when we start getting these um bigger payouts then we'll be able to complete that aspiration and as for riley she has a nerd brain she needs to finish reading three books and achieve level three in logic skill so we got to start working on that and marianne she has the family aspiration who knows marianne if she's well she seems as though she's desperate for a baby um so who knows what she'll do (laughs) because the way she's been acting sis is ready um i want to get marion to i want to get marion to um start her um her her payout or her gig excuse me um being that she hasn't done anything and we, i want to get this work performance up okay um arwen keeps texting kira and kind of just don't i don't want to hang out right now <laughs> um so yeah um well since riley's sitting here she's feeling embarrassed oh she's being shy um i'm just gonna have her start reading a book it doesn't say what kind of book i guess we could just read any book i'm not really sure um i'm gonna have to i don't know what book should we read all of these books are doubled um you know what i kind of feel like yeah, I'm gonna have her read the Lord of the Swings. I kind of feel like, no, wait, no, 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 uh, childhood fantasy. That's not bad. It's like Harry Potter <laughs> or Lord of the Rings, actually. Um, so yeah, it's like a childhood, like a child adult <laughs> book that she could read and possibly like fall in love with. I feel like that she's that type to read like a bunch of book sagas. <laughs> like hunger games or um what what other what other books divergent and stuff like that so yeah i kind of feel like she's like one of those or twilight um kira did she finish okay yeah so she finished and now she has to write marketing copy three times um so we could get started on one of them um write marketing copy and then marianne let's check on her because sis don't like working what is she oh she's into the radio that's pretty cool. I didn't know they could do that. Let's, they're typing and talking to a... Re- she's typing and talking to a talk show. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they could do that. And then they're getting a bit hungry. Maybe I can have one of them order some pizza. But that pizza don't never come. And if they do, if it does come, it's like $80 for a pie of pizza. Like, what? 
Um, they look so studious. They look so studious. I don't know. Does this count? I'm try. I want to see if this book counts. It doesn't really say though. It just says finish reading three books. That's all it says. That's so weird. I don't know. I don't really play with these aspirations. <laughs> I usually play with just family aspirations, and if I play with the um, what is it? The wealthy um aspiration. I usually just cheat it. <laughs> So, this is, like, kind of new to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Guys, I'm, like, really upset because my other video... <sighs> Man, I don't know. I guess it happens. Life of a creator, right? But whatever. Um, honestly, there's not that much that's going on. Not that I can see. It's already 10, 13, so... These gr <laughs> wow, Marion's Garden sucks. But, um, it's already 10, 13. Or 10.30 by the time I finish speaking. Uh, and there's not that much going on besides the girls working on their payouts. Oh my gosh. Working on their gigs. So, I think I'm just going to head and end this here. I just want to tell you, tell you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.